In a recent video, I showed this uh, hand crank generator. We measured the voltage it can provide and current it can provide with no load by uh, just measuring it directly with a multimeter. So of course, it's better to actually do something with this. So we're actually gonna charge just a little bit in this video these uh, super capacitors here. So they're in series, they're rated for 2.7 volts each. Since they're in series, you multiply that voltage by six, we can charge it to 6.2 volts. And uh, since they're in series though, the capacitance goes down. So they're 500 farad capacitors if they actually uh, meet their rated value. They probably don't, they're probably lower, but uh, uh, I don't think they're terribly far off from it. But in any case, you take the uh, capacitance that they do have, and since they're in series, six of them in series, you divide it by six to get their capacitance. So you get more voltage across them, but there's less capacitance. So there's less stored charge per voltage. So now, we cannot just directly connect the uh, crank to the super capacitors. I was hoping we could, but uh, we got the uh, clip here coming from uh, this side now to the positive side of the super capacitors and then we'll clip on the uh, negative side and now you can see we have a motor now and I don't know maybe I can charge it if I crank it faster I don't know but this uh, this definitely is not a nice system so what we're gonna do I have a rectifier down there diode down there and I disconnected the super capacitor made sure to do that I don't want to short circuit anything so while I make changes, I'm disconnecting the super capacitor because it doesn't limit current. There's only about uh, probably about uh, 3.7 volts across here now because it's mostly discharged, but it will still output a lot of current. And so we have to be careful. So I'm going to leave these actually on here. So what we're going to do, let's, uh, let's zoom in. We have a rectifier diode on the board already. So you can see it goes to the positive side actually you really see that there you can see the uh, cathode here is to that red rail that's because we're going to clip the generator to the diode there and now when the generator is being turned it will be more positive at this wire than the uh, super capacitor on this side right there so it'll be more positive it will allow the super capacitor to charge but when I'm not cranking it and it's not providing any voltage then we'll have a lower voltage here at the anode and you should know about uh, diodes right now that uh, they don't conduct this side more positive to that side these rectifier diodes this side has to be more negative that side more positive for it to conduct so basically we can charge these super capacitors but they cannot return charge to turn the uh, generator which becomes a motor when you do that so we will plug this jumper here or we got the uh, jumper there alligator clip crimp to it up here and uh, so that's all we are doing to change this right now so we put a diode between the uh, generator and the super capacitor bank to make sure the super capacitor bank can't charge it but it can charge the uh, super capacitor bank and now we will apply the negative terminal here and uh, you want to make sure everything's wired well before you finish connecting up the uh, super capacitor but uh, before we do anything let's take a voltage reading of the super capacitor and so we have uh, I don't have a good connection there we go 3.735 so we got to remember 3.735. Now I'm going to crank this a little bit after I make sure the alligators clips are on there tight. So 3.735. We're not going to do this very long because it's loud. I can stop whenever I want and start again whenever I want. It will just be basically how quickly I turn it and for how long total for how much charge we get but now we should see it was uh, 3.735 now it's practically 3.78 which 
try and get that glare off there. There we go. So 3.759 uh, it looks like. So we got some charge just from cranking this and uh, we could keep going. So now this is rated for up to 15 volts and uh, so I've never fully charged these by hand cranking them. You want to be careful. These are since they're in series they're uh, 2.7 volts each in series the voltage multiplies 16.2 volts we can't charge above that but we can stay anywhere below it so if, if this stops at 15 volts while we're cranking it that's perfectly fine 15 volts is good uh, but in any case hopefully that helped you you don't want to have a uh, power source such as solar or hand crank or something where it cuts out often going directly to a power supply you really want a diode to prevent the uh, energy storage I should say you want the energy storage to not be able to put current back to whatever you're creating power it just always causes problems so this uh, rectifier diode has a voltage drop of 0.7 volts which will help also to keep from overcharging the uh, super capacitors but uh, there are shot key diodes that have a lower voltage drop if that's important too so in any case hopefully that all made sense and uh, if you look at energy storage these are all topics that will pop up so hopefully uh, if they were confusing before they make sense now or if you learn about them in the future this helped made it easier to understand uh, what's going on so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video